Welcome to Modular Classroom. In this video, we will see how to design a PowerPoint slides for preparing an e-content with a very elegant and an attractive manner. That is, this is a normal e-content. How this particular slide is being changed with an elegant and appearing the audience attractively by using monthly a uh, option called shapes tool so shapes and powerpoint are very useful in representing or designing our e content in a very attractive manner already we have posted a video in our channel regarding the bulleted list that has been uh, changed by using the smart art. The smart art is a very effective illustrative tool that can use for your bulleted list points. There are various smart art graphic tools available. Already we have posted a video regarding that. That link will be also given in the description box. Now we are going to see about using the bulleted list in the form of we are going to design in the form of shapes so i'm going to a new slide again and i'm going to this insert menu i'm choosing the shape and i can choose any type of shape i needed see for example now i'm choosing this shape whenever that particular shape is inserted this format the tab of that shape gets open so once you can able to fill the color whatever color you need you can able to change or else you can change the effect of that particular shape by using uh, various presets or uh, giving the shadow effect or bevel anything you can able to change now i'm here or you can double click here to give the text double if you double click the cursor blinks so that you can type the text once you have typed you can give the formatting of the text so this is what the shape has been designed now to insert this part of uh, the slide I'm going again to shapes you can click anything any shape you can click so I'm clicking on this oval so this is the to illustrate the bulleted point and next I'm going to insert another shape called rounded corner or a rounded rectangle anything I can uh, use and I am here uh, giving the point as center back so now I am changing the shape fill by any other light color light colors or anything and selecting both these objects I'm right clicking and choosing group so that this particular text changes to one group now another important shortcut to create or duplicate object is just select that particular shape and press the control key now your cursor changes to a plus sign indicating that the copy of this selected shape will be created when you just click and drag it that is you're going to duplicate the objects here likewise you can create all the four types of objects this is another format of like duplicating the shapes after that particular shape duplicates you can release the control key now you just right click here double click here and give the text I just change to just change your color I 
I'm increasing the font size and I'm choosing this format painter format painter is one of the tool that is used in these applications to copy all of the formatting from one object and that will be applied to another object click in this format painter so it has been copied to all the objects where I'm applying that painter So that the same formatting like color, fonts name, font size, everything will be copied from one object to another. Just keep your mouse pointer very clearly and copy it. See all the four have been changed. Now go to this text and type the sentences. What I have given here, declarative, interrogative, imperative like this you just type. Once you have finished typing, now you have to apply some animation. So before applying that animation, you can able to change this color also. So go to format. Since this now these two objects have been grouped, you just now after duplicating you can ungroup. If ungroup this so that these two will be separated into different objects. For the purpose of uh, duplicating, I just do group those objects. Now I am ungrouping it to apply animation and other formatting. So now here I have to design uh, another color. There is not a factor. So I am going to into the shape itself. See like this I can able to change. Now another important shortcut is I can use an eyedropper facility. So eyedropper is you are going to copy the color that is available in this object to this object. So there are three steps for copying this color. First step is you have to select the objects that needed to recolor. So I am selecting the second object and second point is you have to select the eyedropper. Just go to this shape fill and choose this eyedropper. Next is you have to select the color that is needed to apply. Just click this. This second object will also get this third object color. Likewise, you just click this third object, go to your shape fill, choose eyedropper, click on this color. Sorry, I just pressed on this uh, white color. So after four ob uh, objects I have changed the color. Now I can able to apply the animation. So just I am clicking on this first one. Go to animation. Just click on add animation. You can choose any of the various effects available. For example I am just clicking on peak in. And you can see the peak in. Now I can choose effect option from left and this here I can choose fly in and the effect option I can apply from right. Likewise here I am choosing this animation. I have choose to peek in. Here fly in. Here effect option from right. Here effect option from left. Sorry. So here again I am choosing this animation, peeking, ok, from left, here flying, from right.
from left we can choose any different of fx but uh, to this i am choosing the peek in and fly in and the effect option i have applied left and right so i have completed my animation now i can able to one minute for this uh, type of sentence also i can able to apply the animation since there is a heading i can give the basic zoom now since i have applied this animation last but i need this particular shape to come first so i am going to this animation pan and just clicking and dragging and moving into first so that this particular number has a number indicates this animation will run now i am giving the slide show as you can see see this is the types of sentence this is the first <coughs> object that has been animated and first one comes declarative statement second comes interrogative third comes imperative fourth one comes exclamative so this is a style that have been applied by the custom animation with the different shapes instead of using the single slide with just bolded text i can easily convert the slide in an elegant manner so that it will be very eye catcher this uh, particular text or a particular object can be created and you can able to change the effect in any different manner it is not suited to one particular effect that designing is up to user creativity they can change to their own style so this is the option of available in powerpoint while designing an e content in a very elegant manner so thanks for watching stay tuned